Pat McAfee set to kick off with Tyvon Branch and Larry Taylor deep to receive. The winner is the champion of the Big East and at the very least is headed to a BCS Bowl game. And Branch has it and gets to the outside. A flag down as he stays on his feet at the 40-yard line and is all the way out to about the 43. But During the return, legal block in the back, number 19 on the return team. The penalty's half the distance to the goal line from the spot of the foul. First down, Connecticut. On first down, a couple of yards up the middle at best. Gang tackle, and Davis. Start on our offense today. Our quarterback and leader, Tyler Lorenzen. And the guy that can dread the tackle, our running back, Andre Dixon. And our deep back from Georgia, Terrence Jeffers. With our old line, with the monster who anchors the offensive line, Donald Thomas. As the big defensive tackle. Second down and seven. And flags down at the line. Has made a living prior to the snap. False start. Number 73 offense. Five yard penalty. Still second down. Lorenzen from the end zone. Wants to set up the screen. To the far side has the fullback Anthony Sherman. And he gets out to the 10 yard line. Where play. Personal foul. Face mask. Number eight defense. 15 yard penalty. Automatic first down. Three receivers as they come out to the 23 yard line. Lorenz into the sideline, wide open down the sideline and breaking free, Brad Cunyu, and it's a first down. A gain of close to 30 yards, and UConn now in business in plus territory. Dixon finds a lane. Stays in bounds all the way to the 31 defensive end, Johnny Dingle. On the defensive line, we got Donnie Duel, Keelan Dykes, a.k.a. Batman, and I'm Robin. At linebacker, one of the top in the Big East, Mark Mago, but I call him Mango. In my secondary, we have Ryan Mundy, a.k.a. P. Diddy. Lorenzen back to the air, steps up, runs into his own man and still manages to pick up about three yards ten times, including last week against Syracuse as the play clock winds down. Yeah, Tyler Lorenzen lost a game. Right. Offense, five-yard penalty. Still second down. If they do fight through these penalties and score on the opening drive, it would be the eighth game this year where they have done so, and they're undefeated in the previous seven. Open is Jeffers. Down the sideline, inside the 10-yard line. Knocked out of bounds. First and goal at the six. Play action. Lorenz into the end zone in traffic. Caught. Touchdown. Brad Cunyu. And UConn starts the game with an impressive opening touchdown drive. Pictures of some UConn fans cheering. I promise you, we can't hear them. This place is silent in Morgantown. What an opening drive by Tyler Lorenzen. Seven plays, 92 yards, and UConn has the lead. Patrick White and Steve Slayton are ready to take over. As E. Cullen set to kick off, Noel Devine and Vaughn Rivers deep to receive, and this is Rivers from the five. Rivers gets a lane. Out to the 35-yard line. It's responsible for 23 scores overall, and pretty good field position to open. Instead, it goes up the middle for a gain of maybe. This time, White on the keeper, breaks a tackle. Turtles his way into UConn territory. Darius Butler. White actually marked down right at midfield, first and 10. And Slayton got the early jump and the pitch. Slayton, oh, what a hit in the backfield as Slayton cut down by Danny Lansana. Second down and 12. White steps back, looks downfield for a big play. To the outside, Raynaud inside the 10, hauled down at about the two. So White spreads the field on first and goal, and from the spread, keeps it. Reaches for the goal line, he's in. Touchdown, Mountaineers.
McAfee's extra point knocks the game at seven. What an answer by West Virginia. Pat White now with 13 rushing touchdowns this season. We're tied at seven. And both Tyler Lorenz and Ant Pat White on the money operating on those two opening drives. McAfee's kickoff, a short one, and getting out to about the 28-yard line. Of Lorenzen, Statue of Liberty, holds onto the ball down the middle. Oh, they had a big play to the tight end. Lorenzen may be changing the play at the line. Plenty of time on the play clock. It's at eight as Dixon goes up the middle for about three. Reed Williams on the stop. Takes you out of your comfort zone. Five wide receivers on third down. Here comes the blitz. Lorenzen under pressure to the sideline. Incomplete. So Desi Cullen's punt to be returned by Vaughn Rivers. And it's returnable. Rivers touches it. Oh, he got a great bounce. How lucky was Vaughn Rivers that that lives here. Todd Reesing, Chase Daniel firing back and forth throughout the night. How about Steve Slayton? First down, West Virginia. Basketball score when I saw it on the crawl, but I flipped over and saw you. Talk about a track. Noel Devine reverses field, cut down behind the line, about six yards. Ryan Stanchin. Everybody knows we have one of the most dangerous backfields in the country, led by senior fullback Owen Schmidt. He breaks face mask. On the offensive line today, junior Mike Dent from Jeanette, Pennsylvania will lead the way, and Greg Isdanner from Philadelphia. Now facing second down at 15. Devine gets caught in the wash. It's Dan Davis for UConn. On to the defense. My favorite position is the D-line. About two free off the edge, Cody Brown, and my roommate Julius Williams. And the linebacking corps. The two freshman sensation, Lawrence Wilson and Scott Lutris. And the dog pound, baby, led by Darius Butler and Tyron Branch. Well, the dog pound might be visited here on third down and 13 for West Virginia. White has time, looks for a big one over the middle, and no one's home, so UConn's defense punt. See so many different punt formations now in college football. This is Howard, a heck of a punt by McAfee from his own 12-yard line. And he doesn't go any further and lost the football. West Virginia's got it. Jasper Howard is a true freshman return man from Miami. And that is a crushing mistake. To the end zone, touchdown, Darius Raynon. One play, and West Virginia turns the fumble into six. Seven after Darius Raynon's 11th touchdown reception this season. And they turn one over on special teams and had West Virginia, a great offensive team, a free touchdown. How do they respond now? They'll have to start from their own 20. On first down, Donald Brown. Maybe three yards. Again, the eye back is Donald Brown. This time, Lorenzen wants to put it in the air. Checks underneath to Anthony Sherman for a first down. Team in this contest to make a big mistake in the turnover department. Sherman, the ball carrier, and moves the pile for about three more, especially on the road. That's why that last touchdown to give it up on special teams hurts UConn so terribly, because they want to play with their defense. The screen to Brown, snuffed out by the Mountaineers. Third down and nine. A three-man rush. Lorenzen with some time, fires into traffic, and has a first down to Larry Taylor. Again, fitting the ball into a void down the center of the field. Again, Lorenzen with a play-action fake to the sideline and a dangerous throw. Coming from off the radar screen. Seventh play of the drive on second down and ten. Lorenzen wants to tuck it under. Got some room. Can he get to the sticks? A yard shot. Third down and one. Donald Brown has the first down and more. Down to the 30-yard line. A great drive to start the game, and another great drive here to answer that last touchdown by West Virginia. Brown for maybe three more yards. Again, play action. Lorenzen under pressure and sacked. He goes down back at the 35. Morty Ivy, third and 15. 
A loss of nine with the sack. Taylor in motion. Lorenzen throws it underneath to Dixon, and he's going to lose maybe a yard on the screen attempt. Let's see if Desi Cullen can get some field position for UConn. And the ball touched at about the 16-yard line, so that's where West Virginia... This is the Big East title game. The winner of this game wins the Big East championship. And White sends one to the perimeter. Raynaud. There's some other candidates. I was, I was waiting for a response from you on that. I was with stunned. Slayton, with Slayton and White in the backfield. Well, here's White to the outside. And he is upended at about the 21-yard line. White will drop on third down. Fires over the middle. Incomplete. Up over the head of Raynaud. Larry Taylor is back deep to receive this punt, the second best punt returner in Big East history, and he has chased all the way back to his own 10 yard line. What a punt by McAfee. What a field position change punt for Pat McAfee. An amazing play on special teams, and it has been an amazing start. 14 7. West Virginia has the lead on UConn. Pat White with a touchdown running and a touchdown through the air. after a 70-yard punt a moment ago. And they had West Virginia pinned deep. They start deep in their own end. And Lorenzen goes to the air, and to the sideline. Dixon out to about the 23. A lot more time on the field than the West Virginia offense. And on second down and five, Dixon comes very close to another UConn first down. This defense has played at a high level throughout the season. Third and one, they'll try and throw for it, and down goes Lorenzen. A blitz from Ridwan Malik. He man defensive front with linebackers and DBs on the blitz. As he cull him with a good punt. Juan Rivers from his own 32 stays on his feet. Gets loose. Rivers to midfield. For West Virginia, a 70-yard punt when they were stopped last time and a 17-yard return, and now they put it once again in the hands of Darius Raynaud for about four yards. Well, that's a great point, David. You have to be able to tackle well when you play West Virginia. Slayton to the perimeter. Turns the corner. And he's pushed out shy of the first down. Late clock down to seven. White will keep it. And he'll get there. And then some. About an eight-yard game. Uh, you got to give him credit. It's tough to keep a sense of humor when you're talking about stopping this offense. How about stopping Owen Schmidt? If they expect to win. White on a straight keeper. Runs into a wall at about the 30-yard line. So now, maybe to deliver something. White on third down and five. Looks for the big play and has it. What a drop. Oh, right now. So now Pat McAfee, 10 of 11 on field goal attempts this season, tries from 46 yards away. And he's got it. So the field position that begins at the 50-yard line results in three for West Virginia. And they open their lead up to 10. From the Yankee Conference back in 1973. Amazing. If West Virginia wins, not only would they win the Big East and guarantee themselves a BCS bowl berth, but they would move one step closer to possibly playing for the national championship. This time on Branch. During the return, illegal block in the back. Number eight, return team. Ten yard penalty from the spot of the foul. First. <laughs> That's classic. That is good stuff. Lorenzen on a rollout. Underneath and through it. Load and trying as best they can to concentrate on a UConn team. That for the most part here in the first half, in spite of the scoreboard, has gone toe-for-toe -toe with West Virginia. The completion to the outside, a couple of yards. Third down and two. Lorenzen over the middle. Threw it behind Terrence Jeffers. Tyler Lorenzen relaxed as he came to the sideline. Relax. How hard is that, though, if you're Tyler Lorenzen as this punt takes a UConn roll? to do just that in a Big East championship game when last year. Pretty good field position for Pat White at his own 36-yard line. Traps it up the middle. Slayton corralled after about a seven-yard gain by Lawrence Wilson. At the bottom of your screen, keep your eyes on the true freshman, Noel Devine, who now goes in motion and takes the handoff. Breaks a tackle. Out of bounds.
Jones may be a yard shy of a first down. On third down and a yard. It's for Slayton, and he's brought down behind the line. This is the punting unit came out. You have to punt the ball here at your own 45-yard line as McNaughton sends one to the sideline. Taylor breaks a tackle and does a pretty good job to get out to about the 17. UConn would love to have a uniform as they start from their own 17-yard line. Instead, it's Donald Brown, and he's close to a first down out. Not a lot of fun if you're a defensive back coming up and run support against those two. Brown finds a crease. It's a first down for UConn out to about the 37-yard line. Atmosphere. It has been quiet, I mean, it's a good point. And Brown quiets them further. Another first down. Doing some nice work between the tackles. Play action, Lorenzen to the sideline. That's another first down, Steve Browse. Lorenzen starting to heat back up after a great first drive. Last year's quarterback, DJ Hernandez, is the wide receiver at the top of your screen. Instead, they trap it to Brown. Getting acclimated. Now it's Andre Dixon. He's brought down about three yards shy of the first. Well, now the crowd's in it. On their feet, Morgantown, third down, and a short three. Lorenzen lost the football. West Virginia has it. Morty Ivy with a strip sack in the backfield. So off the turnover, great field position again for Pat White. The screen, Slayton, not much there. Second down and 10. White keeps and again gets shut down at the line. What a shot. A four man rush. White escapes. Weaves his way for a first down and more. Patrick White down the sideline. He got loose and made a huge play. Whether the call is, whether the play is called to him or whether he's improvising. He picked up a block from Slayton and now hands to Slayton. To the end zone. Touchdown, West Virginia. The point after stretches the lead to 24-7 for the Mountaineers. Fegner, the left guard, getting the super tackle. Caving down. And Slayton, too much space. Football, I'm not sure, David, is there someone else that can compare to White and Slayton? Maybe Dennis Dixon and Jonathan Stewart out at Oregon before Dixon got injured. Larry Taylor trapped on the sideline. Playing in the SEC championship game. The Big East Championship game here in Morgantown, controlled right now by West Virginia. Second down and eight. Brown on a delay. Turns the corner. Down the sideline. Donald Brown out of bounds at about the 31-yard line of West Virginia. Donald Brown, three yards shy of 100 yards here in the first half. Right back to him. Lorenzen down the sideline, no one home. As Lorenzen was stripped by Morty Ivy, now third down and nine. Lorenzen underneath, has the tight end, Steve Browse. This time, they convert, a first down. Brown on first down. It's to about the 15-yard line of West Virginia. Donald Brown already over 100 yards. Down the sideline on second and six. Seams in space. Third and one, Lorenzen sneaks for it, and he's got it. Plenty of time on the play clock for Lorenzen. Brown up the middle on first and goal, gets to about the five. Of course, with all their timeouts, so 30 seconds to go in the opening half, plenty of time. Second down and goal. Lorenzen to the end zone, bobbled and knocked away. A flag down as well. Offsides, number 44 defense, in the neutral zone at the stat. Penalty is half the distance to the goal line, still second down. Brown, behind some blockers, at the goal line, still on his feet, into the end zone for a Husky touchdown. T. 
team in the ballgame. Aravino's extra point is good. Mental toughness by UConn as we head back to the studio and Matt Weiner. You wouldn't think that they would have national title implications. Vaughn Rivers from the seven. Gets outside. And is upended at the 41-yard line by the kicker, Desi Cullen. The first 30 minutes of football. One quick strike for West Virginia and a possible field goal attempt could come. And there's the quick strike. It picks up a first down. This is going to be an over-the-top Hail Mary type play. White tries to quick out, maybe to get McAfee closer. Two seconds. They literally hand it five yards to West Virginia. Too easy. McAfee leads the Big East in field goal percentage. A 56-yard attempt before halftime. It's on the way. Will it reach? Just falls short. And that brings us to halftime. West Virginia in a tussle with UConn, 24-14. Now back to John, Craig, and Doug in our New York studios. Guys? To rebound in the second half as well. He had a very inconsistent first half. Z Fellens kickoff. Coming down at about the nine-yard line to Rivers, and they fake a reverse, and Rivers gets out to about the 34-yard line. And as is the norm with West Virginia, White and Slayton both with touchdowns rushing in the first half, and White starts the second half with a six-yard carry. Well, they did a decent job of limiting those big plays on the ground in the first half, as White tries to create one here, and does. White gets loose, and he's brought down at about the 32-yard line. Tyvon Branch, 24-3 and as the starting quarterback for the Mountaineers. This time it's Slate. And he's strung out nicely by the UConn defensive front, a loss of a couple. See White look over to the sideline with the play clock at about 14, get the play call. Make a man miss in the open field, throws one towards the end zone. Pass interference. Pass interference, number 15 defense, 15 yard penalty, automatic first down. And that's what happens when you're late. And not putting the ball on the one yard line the way they do in the NFL. White steps back. Dodging tackles and goes down. Second down and 13. White wanted to set up the screen. And again, UConn snuffs it out. And this UConn defense, third best in the country in points against, only allowing 14.3 points per game. White, they tuck it under. Creates space in the open field. Touchdown. What a cutback at the 15 by White. One fourteen, Mountaineers. Well, you do everything right on defense. You have Pat White hemmed in. He escapes such a great feel. The cutback sets up the touchdown. He walks in. They are on the verge of playing for the national championship. Has to be nice when you know you can control your own destiny. Ivan Branch a yard deep. Shut down at about the 17-yard line at 20 or more yards. Brown tries to turn the corner for UConn. Gets down the sideline, very close to a first down. See that from any other quarterback in the country. That was Fitz Young-type material. Lorenzen down the sideline, incomplete, looking for Kanye, and he took a heavy hit. Steve Slayton right. <laughs> That's not a bad way to go. This time it's Donald Brown right on third down. In terms of going forward on fourth down. Brown barely gets back to the line of scrimmage. Second down at 10, and it looks as if Lorenzen might be changing the play. And he'll try to play Pat White and tuck it under. Gets to the sideline. That's a pretty good imitation. First down, UConn. And Lorenzen is still the third leading rusher for UConn behind Dixon and Brown. The trap to Brown. Find some room. Picks up seven yards. Again, it's to the ground. Nothing doing. 
Well, I, I think that, again, this is going to be four down territory. And again, UConn can afford to run the football here. Lorenzen instead will throw under pressure. Nothing, nothing there. Put it away. Here's Desi Cullen's punt, a low wobbly kick. Returnable for Rivers. He's out about the 25 yard line, still on his feet, finally swamped under because the winner of the Kansas Missouri game has to get by Oklahoma. Wide receiver hitch to Raynaud. And he's out to about the 34 yard line. The best wide receiver off the field for West Virginia. And White at time with some power. I think he picked up the first down. You know, it was really a must for them to handle the football cleanly. Gaping hole for Noel Devine, the true freshman inside the 30 of Utah. Devine awfully fast from his tailback spot. It's back to Slayton as the eye back. He gets the call. And he gets to about the 25-yard line. Counted on to hand the football off. It was great thus far. Here's Devine again. Feet for the point after once again. 38-14, the third ranked Mountaineers. Hard to prepare during the week in practice for this kind of speed. It's a picture you can't duplicate. And took him in. He was about to adopt Noel Devine when he went back to Florida. And now here he is at West Virginia. That last touchdown run may have blown this game wide open. Well, what a game between Kentucky and Tennessee. Now they're facing a big deficit. Lorenzen a throw on second down and 13. Again, tucks it under. Out of bounds at the 24. Now it's Andre Dixon into Lorenzen's right. And West Virginia showing blitz on third and five. They rush four. Lorenzen down the field looking for the big play. Just about had it. Opportunities and move the chains. Flags thrown. There's no foul for illegal substitution on the receiving team. There was only 11 players in formation. <laughs> like in Florida a few years back. You say we're not in Florida. High wobbly kick and a fair catch called for and made. Great field position again for West Virginia. Well, they might be disappointed as things stand right now, Janine, as White blasts up the middle again. Throws down a tackler and steps out of bounds. First down again in plus territory. Again, it's Devine. Noel Devine inside the 20, down to about the 18. Great way to keep a lot of skill athletes happy with their touches. Devine turns the corner. Stays on his feet, gets down to about the 11. White to put it in the air for the end zone. Intercepted. A turnover as Danny Lansana comes up with the interception and gets run out. And that's his fifth pick this season. What a great total for a linebacker. Donald Brown for maybe a yard and a half. A snap that Lorenzen wasn't expecting. It's loose in the end zone. Touchdown. Reed Williams recovers the ball in the end zone. And West Virginia scores again. West Virginia on top will step aside for 30 seconds and come right back to Morgantown. Be surprised if he didn't get right back in the football game. Five on branch from the five. He gets out to about the 23. 
is way behind now. West Virginia comfortably in front. Three and a half minutes to go in the third quarter as Lorenzen throws a bullet to the sideline. Tonight. Kansas going from the 500 club to an undefeated season in the making. And the winner of that game very much in the national title picture. Stakes make that border war a little nastier. Lorenzen pumps, now gets the sideline and has a first down. A draw to Donald Brown. He's had a heck of an afternoon. His defense really thrives. Lorenzen, a couple of pump fakes to buy some more time. Now down the sideline and throws it away. And third down and nine. This is a pin your ears back. Defensive down for West Virginia. Here they come. Lorenzen hit as he throws incomplete. Desi Cullen has been busy. Rivers from the 12 immediately upended. Boss to the Irish. Devine with a flag down. Dodging tacklers brought down at the 15. I guess that means there are two holding penalties. <laughs> First and 17. And again, White keeps it. And again, he makes men miss. Down the sideline. Hit hard out of bounds. This time it's Devine. Wide receivers, such elusive runners, they certainly very marketable NFL players. And, boy, if you're an NFL scout, you watch these open field moves. And the I would love to have a Patrick White on my roster. Devine breaks free. It's a first down again. Sensitive side. White stays on his feet down the sideline. How does he do it? Tripped up inside the 20. Robert McLean saved the touchdown. 36 more for Patrick White. This time turning the corner is Slate. Second down and two. Just one more chance for this West Virginia offense. It's Devine spinning his way inside the five, and that takes us to the end of the third quarter. First and goal, West Virginia, when we come back to start the fourth. His presentation of college football, presented by Best Buy, will continue after these messages and a word from our ABC stations. And right now, they're looking for 50. Slate breaks a tackle into the end zone for a West Virginia touchdown. Halfway to a century mark for the Mountaineers. Fifty-two to fourteen. Not only has West Virginia done offensively what we expected, but UConn has made the mistakes that they just couldn't make. Taylor breaks a tackle and gets out to about the 37-yard line. The SEC championship game. Lorenzo sacked. No, spins out of it. And throws it away. Did he get it back to the line of scrimmage? It looked throughout the season. Lorenzen wants the screen. That's Donald Brown. And Brown has a UConn first down. Resting off big plays. Too much to handle for the Huskers. Lorenzen sacked. Back at the 42-yard line. Lorenzen goes down again. This time it's Zach Cooper. It could have made this game closer moving into the second half. UConn needs to get the stores for a first down. Lorenzen unloads. Oh, it just about got there. And this should not put much of a damper on the year that they have had because Randy Edsel's team has been magnificent. As Vaughn Rivers 
It's all the way out across the 40 to about the 42-yard line. He is on the sideline, and Jared Brown, a sophomore from West Palm Beach, who's a very capable player as well, comes on and hands it to another capable young player. Into the open, Jock Sanders. All the way down to the three-yard line. How many weapons in the upcoming years for West Virginia? Sanders very close to a touchdown, brought down. To Sanders finishes the drive. And it was a three-play drive, all him. Another West Virginia touchdown. <laughs> 420 yards rushing on 41 carries today, collectively, for West Virginia. Over 10 yards per carry. And a dominant performance from playing for a national championship. They will swim it downfield as Branch picks it up at the 20. Let's take a look now. The ball carriers for West Virginia have been working in space throughout the evening. DJ Hernandez catches a little hit. A lot of quarterbacks in the game for UConn, but a disappointing day, obviously a nightmarish day, really, for Tyler Lorenzen as Brown misses. Giving the ball back to that West Virginia offense. They can create separation on the scoreboard. A drop. This was a BCS berth. It's not going to be. The punt by Cullen. Comes down to the 40-yard line. Jock Sanders gets to midfield with a flag down. During the return, holding, number one, receiving team. 10-yard penalty from the spot of the flag. First down, West Virginia. 59-14. to 14. They have the lead. No gain on first down. <laughs> All right, that's, I'm not sure that I can trust team you. team unity. I'm not sure I can trust you to hold the rope, Bob. Ed Collington brought down for a gain. What your draft status might be without signing with an agent. If he decides to come back, he's a junior. And most of the other skill position players for West Virginia are the same as Jarrett Brown, the backup quarterback. Does a Patrick White impersonation. Another huge play. On Keeping everybody happy with their touches. Jared Brown, quarterback to look forward to in the future of this program. It's a, a Rodriguez creation, the spread option. And at times it's unstoppable. Brown. Brown on third and eight. Turns the corner. Stays in bounds. No, I think he stepped out. Collington gets to the goal line. He's in. Another rushing touchdown for West Virginia. 65 points on the board for the Mountaineers. That's a season high. West Virginia still winning this game in impressive fashion. And they have gone upstairs to the replay booth. Review. Video reverses the call on the field. The runner's knee was down prior to the ball crossing the goal line plane. The ball will be spotted at the one-yard line. Collington gets another try. This time, no doubt about it. He's in for another West Virginia touchdown. Chris Glenn this time with the extra point. And it's 66 to 14. West Virginia on top. An exclamation point by the Mountaineers today. They could be playing for the national championship as they are now seven minutes and 47 seconds away from winning the Big East championship. Next week they finish up with Pitt. Branch out to the 23. Turn around on defense. A top five defense now. I think they deserve a shot at the national title. Now, Kansas loses that game late in the season. It totally takes them out of it, as opposed to a loss early in the season where you can come back from it. That, that's the way it works, though, as Dixon gets to the outside. Determine West Virginia is better than Ohio State, or Ohio State's better than West Virginia. And I do think it's by virtue of the fact that Ohio State lost later on. Hawaii, Kansas, or Missouri. West Virginia in there.
and Hush football is that plus one system. Well, a plus one system is basically a four-team playoff. It might not come down to two bowl games where it's come out, you argue for a moment about those teams, then that's gone. People. And you concentrate on what is always thought to be a true national champion. People never remember who the 65, 66, 67th place teams are. But for a team in a major conference to not have a shot to play in a national title game when they're undefeated, I, I, I think that... But could you imagine the attention that that game would get if the winner advanced? It'd be one of the biggest things in American sports. And, let's... and this season, they might have a chance to get right back to that national championship game. Downfield, Dennis Brown. Inside the five-yard line, connects with Brad Canute. Can it's diminished the importance of the other three and now four major bowl games that aren't part of that national. Dixon is the eye back, second down and goal. And Dixon gets the call. And he is stacked up shy with 2.45 to go. Important. You know, you might lose the Clash of the Titans, but all of a sudden you create a lot more important regular season game. Fourth and goal, and UConn, for respect, going for it. Play action. Brown flips into the end zone, and good for the Huskies. A touchdown to Anthony Davis. Aravino's extra point is good, and it's 66 to 21. We'll be Six conferences. Colorado won the Big 12 North two years ago with a 4-4 four four record in conference. What a turnaround. Back. Another big play. Narrow hands to Collington again. Collington down the sideline. And quarterback sticking with the program and still being a leader for this outfit in many ways. Allington for 12 more yards. That's 516 rushing yards. Bigger things in mind down the line. Well, right now they can celebrate their fifth Big East title. The West Virginia Mountaineers are the champions of the Big East. Rich Rodriguez, the head coach for four of those five titles. Our players of the game.